Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make wheat dough for chapatis and rotis using this ultra wet grinder. The wet grinder comes with an attachment to make the wheat dough. Usually these stone grinders sit inside this container for wet grinding rice and dal. Take the stone grinders out to make the wheat dough. The attachment has a hole on the bottom. Just press it down onto the white tab in the center of the container. There's a slot in the arm here. Just turn the attachment so this will fit right into the slot. And press it down to lock. I'll be using wheat flour. I've measured it out in this dry measuring cup. It's a little over two cups. 300 grams or 10.6 ounces. I'll use half a teaspoon of coarse salt or kosher salt a little vegetable oil, and very, very hot water. I've measured out 300 milliliters or 10 ounces. I'll tell you exactly how much I use after making the dough. Plug in the unit and press the on button. Put the flour in. Salt. I'm going to drizzle in two teaspoons of vegetable oil. Use the included spatula to mix it up a little and slowly drizzle in the very, very hot water. You want to knead this about two to three minutes once it forms a ball. The dough is a little sticky. It's getting soft. Although the machine moves the dough, it's not always very quickly. It will get stuck here sometimes, so you do have to help it along sometimes with the included spatula. Turn the machine off. Lift the arm. The dough comes off the paddle easily. Looks good. I use a total of eight ounces of water or about 236 milliliters. You can see the dough is soft. Cover the dough, let it rest for about 20 minutes, and then you can make chapatis and rotis. The container, attachment, and spatula can be washed in warm soapy water and dried. After making the dough, I like to wash the parts right away. Otherwise, any leftover dough can stick, get hard, and it'll be harder to clean later. The unit can be wiped down with a damp cloth and dried. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.